For over 35 years, the Tennessee State Museum was housed downtown in the James K. Polk building. A week and a half ago, they moved into this gorgeous new building with lots of interactive exhibitions, gorgeous architecture, and the most gorgeous view of the Tennessee State Capitol. Ashley Howell is the executive director, and let me tell you, this space is gorgeous. I have covered the other space many times, nothing like this. Thank you, thank <laughs> you, we've worked very hard on it. I know you have. Now, you and I are walking through the Tennessee Time Tunnel. Yes. Explain that. Yes, so for our visitors that wanna get just a, a chronology of Tennessee history. The Tennessee Time Tunnel leads visitors through the gallery space, but then we also have a timeline of actions uh, through Tennessee history compared with national events. We have artifacts. So we're in the area here that, that, that talks through the, the Civil War. So we're at the end of the Civil War. We have the Emancipation Proclamation. And so visitors can read about Tennessee history, but then they can also go into the galleries off of the space. Our former space ended in about 1920, and so we're able to add the last 100 years to the Tennessee history narrative. I would say the technology and the interactive uh, stations and films, that's an addition to the interpretation, and it also brings the visitor into the experience and bringing the content the way that they would like to learn. So all the way into the current time is where the Tennessee Transforms takes yes. us. Yes, so this brings us post-World War II to today. And I think we can, we can talk about how history has, has been added. We can talk about the last 50 plus years, but it's also a great space for families to engage. So for instance, we have uh, the introduction of the television. Yes. So uh, we have artifacts, we cover sports, we cover music. Actually, this area has another interactive way that we can learn about our state. Yes, so this is a table that represents the state of Tennessee and you can learn about places, people, and events. This is from the time period from 1945 to present. And this is also something that we can add to, just like our exhibits. Now, I'm a big Tina Turner fan, so this tells us all about her, of course. But those of us who know that she was from Nutbush, Tennessee, this is all about Tina Turner. I love it. Different people, different places. Usher Raymond out of Chattanooga. Yeah. So a lot of people can gather around this table at once. And yes. so many new people to Tennessee and to Nashville. What a great way to learn about the state of Tennessee. Absolutely. This is a very cool space. I love this car. It's from Marathon Yes, Motor yes, Works. yes. This is from Marathon Motor Works. It's a car from 1914 in our Change and Challenge Gallery. This is an example of some of the artifacts that visitors can see. I love it. There's so much visitors can see and we can't cover it all for you today. It's 137,000 square feet, but we can encourage people to come back on multiple days. Absolutely. We're free. So if visitors want to come and participate in the Tennessee Time Tunnel, they can do that. They can come back. They can come back and spend time in the Change and Challenge Gallery. We're going to be changing artifacts. We're going to be changing uh, exhibitions. So we're always going to have something new at the Tennessee State Museum. Sounds fun. Well, you've got to come open six days a week. Yes, yes. So check our website for hours. We're, we're open until five most days. We're open until eight o'clock on Thursdays. We would love to see you at the Tennessee State Museum and we look forward to welcoming you. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Ashley. You definitely want to come. Okay, have you been? I have not. I haven't either. Yeah, but it looks beautiful from the outside. It does look amazing from the inside too. And tomorrow we've got more from the museum. We're gonna show you some of the great things they have for children making history fun. All right, fantastic. It'd be great. All right, up next, it's something different and delicious. The Trim Healthy Mamas promise you'll love their twist on a seasonal fave. We cannot wait to dive into their bowl of creamy Verde chicken chili. On the weather front right now, cloud cover over the area. Temperatures remaining cool today. A look at the power of five live radars is on the way. This portion of Talk of the Town is sponsored by Publix. 
Welcome back to Talk of the Town. Right now, temperatures are in the upper 40s of 50s. Check out our camera from Cookville. Cloud cover and 53 at the campus of Tennessee Tech. There was a little light rain over that way a bit earlier this morning. You can see right now, mainly low 50s. Columbia is still at 49 right now. Here's a quick check of radar and a few light showers over our southern areas. Seven day on the way, but right now over to Merrill. It's the perfect weather for a warm bowl of comfort food. Pearl Barrett and Serena Allison are here with their Trim Healthy Mama's recipe for creamy Verde chicken chili. That sounds yummy. It is so yummy. It's, and it's yummier than yummy. But it's so one, two, three, easy peasy. That's what I love about it. Yeah. You just dump. Okay, so can I be dumper? Yes, you may. Okay. Put the chicken in first into the crock pot. Okay, so these are chicken breasts that are yes. skinned and, and boned. Yes. And then, oh, sorry. <laughs> hard to hard get that hair. How can you cook with all How that disgusting. hair? Sorry. <laughs> now listen, this is one of the secret ingredients. Okay. Cauliflower. It's going to get so mushy and melty and creamy by cooking in the crock pot. None of the children or husband or whoever hates cauliflower will know what's in here. Okay, nice. It's going to add to the creaminess and actually adds to the health of it because even in just one week of adding cauliflower to your diet, it'll give you 30% better memory recall. That's a latest wow. study, yes. actually. That's awesome. I know. Dump. This is the Verde. Okay, oh, so that's oh. basically green chilies. Oh, um, yeah. Yes. So it's not super hot. No. How come you're doing all the work? We're standing here like... Well, what? Because, because you put her in charge. Yes. <laughs> and I'm really flying with that because she's big sister. I never get to be in charge. You're really taking Pan over. beans. <laughs> resistance and, and of course this so is a white chili. So we're going to mm -hmm. use the white beans, mm -hmm. you know, and, and it just gets all... seasoning bling. Onions. Creamy. And peppers and celery. Now you could cut up your own peppers yeah. and onions and celery if you wanted to, yeah. or just take the easy route and right. buy the frozen one. I exactly. buy frozen, and you know what? Even though she's taking over, this is actually my recipe. <laughs> and I'm like the the, the drive-through so cook. Anything easy, I do it. Okay, yeah. so in here we have another one of the secret ingredients. We put in okra, one and a half cups. Really? You, you would never know. know. No, you wouldn't know. And what's okra good for? It actually helps with weight loss. And it's high in vitamin C. And so many of us are vitamin C deficient mm -hmm. and we don't know it. It's yeah. blood sugar stabilizing. Okay. It's, it moisturizes the tummy. And so many Very people simple. think they don't like okra, but if you hide it in the sauce, oh, nobody knows. Yes. We have yes. okra haters in our family. They, they never know. Our kids don't know. But also we have some cream cheese in there yes. and the spices, okay? okay? So you want, you got chili, you got cumin, you've got salt and onion and garlic powder. And it just all creams up. But the key is, do not allow any little green flecks of okra. Right. So we have pre-blended <laughs> this. Okay. We have pre-blended it and we're going to turn it on for just five seconds now just to get the idea. <laughs> It's a little loud for TV, but yes. so that's why we did okay, it ahead of time. Okay, and then we just get it all in. Oh yeah, nice. and then we're gonna add one more cup of the broth. Pearl, would you do that? No, I'm uh, Meryl takes oh. the honor. Oh, thank you very because much. Because there was a little broth in there too. There's not much chicken broth in here, just enough to get it all oh. going together. Oh, this is gonna be so hearty and creamy and zesty, spicy, it's delicious, be great. and amazing. No, after you cook it for what? Six, Six or eight, eight hours. hours. Yep. And then low. you shred the chicken. You do, but you know what? I just shred it right in there with forks. I don't even need to take it out. It's so fall apart succulent. Just get in there and do so the thing. So it's a one nice. pot meal. Cooks while you're away. We just put it in here to just show the, the lovely mm. deliciousness. How incredible. How hearty and thick it goes. That looks wonderful. That's like whole meal. Like boots on hard working man's Dinner. I wouldn't even say Hormel because yeah. this is the healthy ingredients. I know, it's not but, something you're eating but, out of but a can. The heartiness of it. Yeah. It's like the stick to your ribness. Right, right, right. But <laughs> it's a diet food, but it will just take, it'll shred the everything off your waistline. But look at that. I love it. Healthy eating with the Trim Healthy Mamas. This looks so good. You can find this recipe and a whole lot more in the cookbook that you see right there. We'll put all the information about all of their cookbooks uh, online at trimhealthymamas.com. And coming up, it's important to understand the pros and cons of working from home before you commit to the major shift in work and home balance. We'll give you some of the top things to think about before setting up shop at the house. This portion of Talk of the Town is sponsored by Electronic Express. Express during this time. Uh, yesterday evening, uh, we received a call on Carter's Creek Pike. Uh, units were called and dispatched at 6.19 p.m. Uh, to that scene on Carter's Creek Pike that was called in by a family member, at which time our deputies arrived on scene. 
they went in to secure the house, at which time they found five victims all suffering from fatal gunshot wounds. The deceased persons were 14-year-old male Bo Lee, 14-year-old female Megan Lynn, 15-year-old female Leah Lynn, 17-year-old female Kaylee Lynn, 55-year-old female Cynthia Collier. The scene at that time, it was secured and uh, until myself and uh, our Murray County Investigations Unit could arrive. At that time, we processed the scene. Um, we recovered uh, several items uh, that will be sent to the uh, forensics lab, and uh, the victims were sent to the uh, coroner for autopsies. At this time, everything would appear to be a murder-suicide. And then we're also we're awaiting the results from the autopsy and then the forensic evidence uh, from those results. Uh, we're still trying to determine what would be a motive in this situation. Uh, and we would ask, as we did last night, that, uh, that our community to continue to keep uh, uh, investigators, first responders, and uh, those victims with the family, keep those victims in your prayers. And uh, we're going to answer just a few questions. Yeah, just definitely a terrible situation there. So keep everybody down there in your prayers, including law enforcement who have any deal with that terrible situation. Live coverage continues on newschannel5.com and on our cable channel, News Channel 5 Plus. We the live not, conference uh, will continue not, there now live for more information. And we'll continue with updates throughout the day on all of our News Channel 5 platforms. We continue now with Talk of the Town. Working from home sounds like an ideal situation, but for those who deal with it, you know one of the biggest challenges they face is trying to stay focused so that you actually get work done. Here with some tips on how to be your own boss while working from home is Brittany Oliver, journalist and founder of Lemons to Lemonade, a career and lifestyles platform. Good to have you with us for today. All right, for working from home, what's the biggest challenge that a lot of folks face when they want to start working from home? Leland, the biggest challenge that people face is the balance. Mm -hmm. um, the beauty of working from home is that you can, you know, balance your life and your work. But sometimes you get distracted by the workload. Mm -hmm. um, laundry needs to be done. The dishes need to be washed. You have kids. So how do you make sure you stay on track with your work? Mm -hmm. and also get your um, housework done. Yeah, so part of that seems to me like a time 